Simon Says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video, we will be learning how to add checkboxes in Excel. So the very first thing that we need to do is have this developer tab in the ribbon on the top. By default, Excel does not show this option. So for that, you can right click on the ribbon and go to the customize the ribbon option. Once you click on it, this table appears in front of you and under the main tabs heading, there's an option of developer. Ensure that this is tick marked and then click OK. After this, you need to go to the section of developer and the section of controls, there is an option of insert. From here, under the section of form controls, click on checkbox. You're going to see that the cursor has changed its shape. You can simply drag and then the checkbox will appear. If you don't want this text to appear, you can simply go and erase it or maybe you just write done with it. This is how simply you can add the checkboxes. The next thing that's important over here is link this checkbox with the cell. Right over here, the cell underlying this done is F7. So in order to do that, you'll first of all select this done, right click, go to the option of format control. In format control, you're going to link it to the cell. The cell that it's going to link it with is F7. In this case, we're simply going to G7 first and then change it to F7 and then click on OK. You're going to see that there is an option of true that is overlapping with done. And when I uncheck this box, it's false. So this is the same thing that we require for rest of our options. Once you have dragged down, you don't need to worry because of the overlapping of done and true, because we're going to change the font of true to white so that it's not visible. Now for changing the font of true, we need to go to home tab, go to the section of text and change the color to white. So now you can see once you click or you don't click, the true and false don't come. One thing that's happening right over here is that once I click on one done, all of the other boxes are getting selected too, and they're either undone or done at the same time. This is because of one certain problem that we're going to fix right now. For each of the certain cell, you need to right click, go to format, and then you need to fix the cell link. In this case of physics, the cell code is F8. So you can simply go here and change it to eight. Click on OK. And this is going to show you how done and undone for each of math and physics is segregated. This is the same thing that you need to go and do for the rest of the cells. Change it according to the cell link that you had selected earlier. In the case of English, it's just the same as math. So you can see done and undone is being done at the same time. We're going to change the control formatting, change it to F10 and click on OK. Now, each of the done and undone is independent. This is how you can add the checkboxes and do the formatting using the formatting control. There is another thing that we can do using conditional formatting in order to update the status and see a physical thing happening in front of us once we uncheck or check the box. For example, if you tick the box of done, so the math should get striped or the font or the color of the math should change. So for that, what we need to do is we need to go select all of these different names of subjects, then go to the conditional formatting section and styles under the home tab, go to the new rule and select use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now right over here, we need to add the cell which is in front. In this case, the cell is F7. But in this, we're going to be restricted to keep the column same, but not the cell. So we're going to remove this dollar sign from the cell 7's option, go to format, click on strike, and you can even, it's entirely optional, that the color should change once the strike happens. Once this is done, you can click on OK, done. 
So next time, once you tick it, you're going to see that the format of Mac is changed. This is something that can give us an exact update of which subjects test is done, which is not. So that is how you can add checkboxes in Excel and link them to cells, number one. And number two, how to get a physical result using conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel to see the updated status. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.